Our society needs infrastructure. It connects communities, can support a lower carbon economy, and provides the foundation for a healthy, more equitable society. But we've got to build it right. It's an exciting time for engineering and construction, and I truly believe that through innovation, we can continue to push the boundaries to build infrastructure more safely and in new, more sustainable ways. I'm here on the Tyway project in London, where we've been working as part of a joint venture to modernise London's waterways. We've been doing this by building a brand new super sewer directly under the River Thames. This is to better meet the needs of the city's residents and improve the environment for the river users. Ultimately, Tideway is a large-scale environmental project and excellent environmental practices have been achieved throughout. For instance, using the river to transport as much material and equipment to and from site as possible reduced transport emissions by thousands of tonnes of carbon. A drive to use circular economy principles saw all teams across the project finding ways to share materials, rehome equipment and materials that were no longer needed, and put an emphasis on repair rather than replace. Over 90% of waste has been diverted from landfill. Skilled engineers have allowed us to keep challenging material use, producing design specifications that are more carbon efficient. In all of our projects, we aim to build in sustainability from the very beginning. And that means thinking about the construction processes in completely new ways. It means thinking about how we build just as much as what we build. Modern methods of construction are paving the way for a more sustainable future. On our Central Station Metro project in Sydney, we were awarded a six-star Green Star rating for our final design and as-built score. It was a first of its kind on the Sydney Metro network and is considered to be world leadership in building design and construction. If you can build modular construction components under managed conditions, you can build them safer, faster, and control carbon better than making them on site. Less time spent on site means better conditions for our people and local communities, less environmental impact, and less waste. At our state-of-the-art facility in Nottinghamshire, we are making the building blocks of world-class infrastructure projects in an entirely new way. We use modern methods of construction in the UK and Australia to enable us to digitise our approach, work smarter, minimised waste and reduced disruption for the public. Our purpose is to push the boundaries of what's possible in service of humanity, and this means challenging ourselves to bring into being a new kind of construction industry that uses lower carbon materials, carbon efficient designs and sustainable strategies. We're working closely with clients, academia, supply chain partners and design consultants, collaborating from early on in the process to embed sustainable principles from the outset. We have a specialist decarbonisation innovation team in-house. We are responsible for identifying new materials and products which will help on our low carbon transition. For instance, we led a two-year concrete decarbonisation research programme, during which we assessed, trialled and implemented a number of novel materials. This gave us the confidence to mandate low carbon concrete use in the UK and then Australia. Sustainability is a priority for Langerwolf globally. Our modern methods of construction approach was brought to life on the Northern Concourse roof. It was built three times, once virtually, a second time off-site, and for the final time here at Central Station in just three weekend rail shutdowns. Our passion for pushing the boundaries stems from our continuing heritage as a privately owned, family-run business with a reputation for innovation. The company's roots date back to 1978 and those values of looking after our people, responsible stewardship of precious resources and taking care of the planet are still core to the way we operate today. Whatever we deliver, we deliver with purpose. We never stop exploring how innovation can help us be better. Every project is a new opportunity to learn. We will never stop exploring how science can help us to be better. When I see people using the infrastructure we have built, I feel an immense sense of pride. First, because I believe it represents best practice engineering, improving the lives of the people using it. And second, because I know we've aimed to build it in a more modern and sustainable way. The opportunity to make a difference is in the hands of our people and our wider engineering community. We're seizing that opportunity, and that's a good feeling.